Yep, the basement's pretty much dry, so that's good. So Chris put this berm in up here. Well, actually, Robert put it in, I think. But Chris came up with wanting to put this in to stop heavy rain, you know, to kind of push it around the basement. And then we had uh, Josh's guys with Southeastern, I believe it is. I'll put his info up. They came out and did the silt fence. And of course, they were super busy with the storm coming up. But uh, he had the guys up over here early yesterday morning and uh, they knocked it out. So appreciative to them for getting us in before the storm comes then you got a couple of outlets for water at each corner and Chris put gravel uh, behind that behind the screen yeah surveyors are coming back out today to pin the foundation uh, hopefully we get some Sun and it dries out a little bit before they get here uh, but we'll see It'll be here in the afternoon, so I mean, it may be where it gets pushed off if we get too much rain uh, coming in. But, and I think Chris is gonna finish grading out. Look how, look at all that topsoil. Look how nice that is, see? <laughs> uh, he's gonna put out some grass seed on that and finish grading it. Y'all you know, saw he got the big stumper. We'll put another couple trucks of stone down on here. So. There you go. We got that top sole. We're going to leave it. I don't know if he's going to go ahead and spread it or if we're waiting. I know we're waiting for after the storm, but I don't know if he's going to go ahead and spread that or if he's just going to leave it there for when uh, the guy comes out that y'all saw with the. Uh, compost and spread that yeah I mean there's just machines everywhere I <laughs> uh, got a lot of stuff in the woods to clean up we'll do that this winter that'll be some good winter work we'll be able to see what we're doing and not fight the bugs in the heat and put us a uh, we got a little path connecting us over here so this all gets grass and then we'll you know, figure out our building there and what we want to put around the dumpster. It's got its pad. The guys already came and dumped it once since we moved it and he was fine. It worked out great. Cock down. You all right? What's up? You good? You know there's a hurricane coming, right? Okay. I know, I gotta put water in the uh, uh, pool over here. What's up? Billy Goodness. How's everybody doing? Y'all good? You ready for the hurricane? All right. Rooster, rooster, I mean, ah. what? That one there. Bramble, AKA Deuce Bigelow, Duck Gigolo. Ah. <laughs> anyway, hope everybody's doing great. Everybody to the south of us, hope uh, you come through the storm and doing great. And if you had to evacuate like one of my sons did, then hope you're uh, good wherever you're at. You made it safely out. We'll see what happens today uh, with the storm path. We're going to get at least rain, but right now they've got it going south of us a little more. So not supposed to be too bad. But we all know that could change, so we'll see. Haven't done one of these in a while. Where I kind of walk around, you know, show what's up. The new ducks. And they were all 
hatch from the eggs that Sean Crackery and Butterball that we lost were sitting on. So I saved their eggs, put them in the brooder, and there you go. Yeah. You see the tiniest one over there in the front right? Hatched last, and of course, Toast, the big one, was hatched first. So yeah, some unique ducks. We can pretty much, I can tell the difference between like, three of them easily. And uh, we'll see how it progresses. You gotta change their water and stuff, but, and give them food. OG chickens. What's up, Tiny? So we got roosters everywhere. I got rid of 11. We probably got that many plus the ones we were already keeping. See, I mean, Mrs. Billy Good won't let me get rid of them just yet. Ugh. I need to move, put them all on a cage and move them to the next to the bedroom window. I bet you get rid of them then. So you may be asking yourself, self, hey zombie chicken, it's super hot outside, or going to be, and you're wearing like, what are, you, what are you doing? Wearing long pants, long sleeves. Well, got a new project to go check on with Chris today. As you know, we got to keep him busy. <laughs> so, let's go see what it is. Blue for pond, pink for road. I don't think we got enough. I don't think we got enough blue for the pond. No. You Five ready? little pieces on it. Yeah, give us something. You ready for an adventure? I'm ready. Everybody said that, uh, well, not everybody. Everybody. But a lot, a lot of people, you know, I screwed up by developing out here, so what am I gonna do? You're gonna repeat the process. That's right. I'm gonna develop some more. You screw up once, might as well screw up again. That's right, I don't learn. <laughs> learn from your mistakes. No, nah, never. Like, change my brakes, which I got in. All right, well, we're gonna go uh, down the road with Chris and uh, see what's going on down there. We press hard and we get through the fire. Got the edge and we're taking it higher. Fuck time now, this is our hour. We got the power, got the power. We'll be here right now and forever. When we face any storm, any weather. Rain is eternal We're immortal We got the power That makes us stronger We got the power We're here forever And never We're the groundbreakers We're the movers and the shakers We're 